Hey everyone, today I've got your impossible movie review. I had seen this movie with every expectation of me to come out like bawling my eyes out like a baby and let me tell you, it happened. This movie is actually Spanish disaster drama. Stars Naomi Watts and Eel McGregor who are supposed to play the real life victims Maria and Henry Bellon, Maria and Henry, who are actually supposed to be um, Hispanic, uh, their nationality is supposed to be Hispanic instead of British. Guess they decide. I don't know why they changed it, but this all happened um, when they were their family with their three kids um, going on this vacation to Thailand, and that was a time um, in real life that I actually remember. Um, when a tsunami hit and it was just absolutely devastating, it was, it was just one of the most, like, craziest disasters of our time, and I actually remember when they showed it on TV, so, um, I just saw, like, the images of it, it was just absolutely horrible. Even seeing it, like, when they put it on film, I just felt like, when they were supposedly, like, you know, trying to reenact all that, and I was like, you know, I hate disaster films, because they try, like, even though it's mostly CGI, and sometimes it's real looking, and they can just make it look as real as they possibly can, and it was just, uh, it, it was just almost too hard to watch, like, I almost didn't want to see this movie, because, um, I usually get really sensitive when it comes to these types of movies. It was definitely really riveting, um, just like the story of survival, like, the acting is what drove it, and I feel that Naomi Watts, I thought like she was absolutely perfect um, in her role, just sort of, you know, she did a lot of screaming in the movie, and um, just a lot of, you know, it was just absolutely, like I could see it on her face, she just looked absolutely terrified and it was really believable for me. Ian McGregor, on the other hand, like, I mean, he did, um, they didn't show as much of his character when they did show him. He wasn't in too much of a perilous situation except for, um, when he was either talking on the phone or when he was in a group of other people, other survivors. I thought even, like, with their children, too, I thought, like, they were, like, some pretty fantastic actors. The older, um, son, in the movie, I thought, like, wow, I was just really impressed, like, I have never seen a child act so, like, you know, mature and just trying to, um, take care of his mom, take care of even this other child that they came across who just happened to be, um, orphaned at the time and trying to look for his own parents, so... I just thought like he was just really brave and just really helpful and I've just, I, I was, I give him kudos because he was just a fantastic actor. That's pretty much the gist of the movie, like once you see all the devastation happening it just like escalates from there, it just gets really crazy and I'm literally on the edge of my seat a couple times because there were moments where um, you would see on screen um, both of the families because they were separated and they were trying to look for each other but I'm like they're right there like how come you don't see them it was just like this whole thing about um like the um main chick and when she had like she had sustained like a whole bunch of injuries even like injuries like I was like wait a minute I did do a double take I was like how like injured did she get and I was just really surprised at how bad it had gotten for her, and I was literally freaking out because, um, I've had, like, my own experiences in a hospital where I don't know anybody, and I was really worried that something bad was going to happen to me, and I was just freaking out the whole time. I can definitely relate to that. Also, the feeling of not, um, being with everyone that you love, and I just felt like, you know, they needed to reunite, like, right away, like, this, like, needed to become a happy ending, no matter what, I was gonna be mad if it didn't, so I was actually really glad that I saw this movie, because it just definitely, it hit a lot of, um, really emotional, like, it tugged at my heartstrings a lot, and just, 
was one of those emotional movies. I haven't seen a lot of really, truly emotional movies in a long time. I will not even remember the last one I did see. This one, um, I would definitely see it again because it was just really awesome. And I think it's up for um, some kind of awards. So, um, actually excited for that. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought of The Impossible, what you remember about this tsunami that actually happened. You guys can subscribe to my channel, I've got more movie reviews, movie updates, come back every week for a Joe Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter and I will see you guys